Welcome Cougar fans, today we bring you Indoors. We are at the Edwardsville YMCA. This is the indoor home of the SIUE tennis program and this is another edition of the Cougar Connection. I'm Joe Pott and today I am joined by the head women's tennis coach here at SIUE, Adam Albertson and coach, welcome. Joe, thanks for coming out. What a a relief, I, I, I think is the right word, um, that, that behind us you've got your team on the court getting ready to practice a little bit, a little bit of normalcy in some crazy times. Yeah, you know, practice and training, it's that step towards normalcy. Um, being able to get out here with the team, I think it's that one part of the day they're looking forward to. I know I am every single day, it, whether it's weightlifting in the morning, whether it's getting on the courts, it just kind of feels like, okay, we're getting back. You know, and I've addressed this with so many coaches that, that the way things have changed with everything that we do, and certainly that involves athletics and, and team sports, and, and you said, you know, getting back to a little bit of normalcy, there is definitely something comforting, and I, and I know student athletes feel this way, about getting into that routine, isn't there? Yeah, you know, this is their everything. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times when picking a school, you're looking at their sport and academics and what's the best fit. And it's a big part of question we get from players in the recruiting process. How do you guys practice? How do you guys train? And so getting back to what they enjoy, what, what puts them in a good spot physically, mentally, uh, it's been really, really good for us and our team. And you can kind of see it. You'll notice behind us, they'll be a little bounce in their step every once in a while. You've obviously had your spring season last year cut short because of the pandemic. You're without uh, what would be a fall season. And that fall season for you is really the chance to kind of get some things in order. You get to see some girls in some tournament play, um, a lot of matches in a short amount of time. How do you now change your preparation, you know, with the way things, without those matches this fall? Yeah, traditionally, I think every member of our team would be having about 10 to 12 matches under their belt right about now in the fall. So you're looking at a different way to kind of measure them up, compete, get that experience. There's been a lot of inter-squad competition. We try and mix it up a little bit there, but you're also trying to keep them fresh. We've been working on some things. But you're right, it's hard to replace those fall tournaments where you get to go and face a new opponent, hopefully beat up on them, um, and learn more about yourself. We use those tournaments to review so much, singles, doubles, mixing doubles pairings. And so now we just try and simulate it here in practice. And sometimes it's forming that team competition, splitting up in teams, mixing up certain days, doubles days, certain days, singles. And it's just trying to make the best we can out of the whole situation, get creative so we can still be ready for spring and fire away. Adam Albertson, the head tennis coach, with us here on a Cougar Connection. And, Coach, uh, three years here at SIUE, um, you had had several stops in your career. This, the first Division I stop, other than obviously making the move to Division I, what was it about SIUE that felt right for you and, and for your family? You know, being at a place where we can compete for a championship, I think, was one of the number one things uh, my wife has to listen to me all the time talk about and was on the hunt for. And we truly have that here. You look at our facilities, indoor, outdoor, brand new resurfaced courts. You know, we really have that support. And then our athletic performance, the staff around us, everything was here that it kind of made the perfect storm, perfect fit for us. And then, you know, you look at the community, the surrounding area of Edwardsville. Uh, it was perfect for my family and I. It's just been a great fit for everybody. You said facilities and community support this, where we are today in the Edwardsville YMCA, an example of both of those things, that obviously you've got the support of the community allowing you to use these tennis courts, obviously not an on-campus indoor facility, but this is a huge plus. We're lucky. We're lucky. I talked to many college coaches across America, and we have courts right here about seven minutes from campus that when we want to use them, they're available for us. Uh, they work so well with us that our girls really get to get out here and get to meet people around the community, too. That's the great part, too. You often see people checking out our practice, watching, chatting with the team. So it's a great spot where we not only are part of the community, but, you know, they really help us out, too. I mean, it's not like, you know, we don't have unpredictable weather or something in the Midwest. <laughs> this hey, you this know, becomes a necessity exactly, sometimes. Exactly, exactly. I mean, we were looking at 70s about a week or two ago, and then one day rain popped up, and gave a quick phone call, and we moved practice indoors. So it kind of shows the flexibility and care for our team and our program, too. Yeah, and it's a, again, it's just, I think, a, a really good example of the way that the university fits in the Edwardsville community. Absolutely, absolutely. And we were really growing that last year. It was fun having people come out to matches, having our team get out into different events, putting on some events for some of the community as well. And, you know, whenever this craziness gets behind us, we can't wait to fire that up again. 
That that's a huge deal that you say that. Um, you know, I, I think that a lot of people will see the student athletes. They've got the community matters shirt on. That's not just a slogan, um, right. not just for your program, but for the entire athletic department. That they literally, they truly embrace the chance to get out and serve this community. Yeah, and in the fall, that's an area where we really try and get involved, uh, whether it's through elementary schools, different public events, getting people out here at the tennis courts. It's something that we really wanted to grow and really be a part of a staple of our program, and uh, we, we really take pride in that. This is the uh, Bob Myers court here at the Edwardsville YMCA. Bob Myers, a legendary coach at SIUE, who returned here a couple of years ago to continue work with the tennis programs. What kind of resource is he for you and your program? I'm so lucky as, as the coach to have him by my side. Um, I, I learn something from him every day. He, he, he's so instrumental in our team, helping us, guiding us, but also the ability for me to work with a little group of players, for him to work with a group of players, and, and his eye for the small detail is just perfect, and it really complements our program. Um, I, I can't thank him enough for everything he's meant to our program, and it's it's you see it every day in practice. He's he's here with a smile, ready to get to work. Anything uh, particularly new, maybe that that you've started doing? Um, you know, we talked about the lack of the fall tournaments. Is there something maybe that you've been able to kind of toss in there a little bit different here this fall? You know, we had these kind of designated days where, hey, ladies, we're going to compete in singles today, and it kind of put them in maybe that tournament mindset before they even arrive to practice and you set it up with the scoreboards and the new balls just like it's a regular match day and then at the same time we'd flip and have a doubles day so you try just having that competitive focus from the minute they step on the courts they know it's coming just like they would if preparation for a tournament so that, that's been good for us but at the same time we wanted to use this fall to get kind of back on track make sure we're looking good and kind of refining those small things we've had plenty of time to focus on small details and, and really get ready for the spring. How much can you brag on your team for the resiliency and flexibility that all student athletes and all students really in general have had to have had to display? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I love this team. They are an awesome, awesome group from the work they put in the classroom, the tennis courts. They come to practice ready to go. And it's challenging. You know, we were off to a great season last year, sitting at nine and two, and then the breaks were put on us. A and being able to kind of roll with that punch and get ready for a new season of a little bit unknown and we're prepping for spring but the way they've come in and focused and worked and stayed positive it's been rewarding and just makes me so proud great way to finish things up coach adam albertson i appreciate the time today joe thanks appreciate it that's the cougar's head tennis coach adam albertson we're going to take a look at the power of this team as we take a look at some really fast serves i'm caitlin Sporing. i'm a sophomore from blue springs missouri I'm Callahan Adams, I'm from Edwardsville, Illinois, and I'm a graduate student. I'm Maria Tebow, and I'm a junior from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Vanessa Reinicke, I'm a junior and I'm from Berlin, Germany. Oh, I'm Jill Lambriggs, I'm a sophomore from Antwerp, Belgium. I'm Jordan Schifano, I'm a freshman from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. I'm Fabiola Perez, and I'm a freshman from Miami, Florida. Seventy-two. I'm Nicole Gomez. I'm a junior from Cartagena, Colombia. Seventy. I'm Ryan Camden. I'm a senior, and I'm from Grapevine, Texas. <laughs> oh no, I'm nervous. Six. I'm Melissa 
Alyssa Viscardo. I'm a sophomore and I'm from the Woodlands, Texas. 101 by Melissa. <laughs> Seventy-eight on the fault. Ninety-five. And the winner of the 2020 Fast Serve Cougar Challenge, Jill Lambrex with 95 miles per hour on the in-serve. Congratulations, Jill. Jill Pot back with you, and I am joined now by two members of the SIUE women's tennis team. To my immediate left is Callahan Adams, who is a graduate student. She's classified as a redshirt junior, as a matter of fact, on this roster. And then to her left is Melissa Viscardo, and she is a sophomore or a redshirt freshman, if you care, as all of the status of these athletes have moved over with our COVID shortened season last year. So, Callahan, that's why we call you a redshirt junior. You missed a year because of injury, um, and you've returned now as a graduate student. You've already received your bachelor's degree. Let's actually go all the way back and, and tell me first, why as an Edwardsville native uh, was it important to you to, to stay home? Um, there are a couple of reasons that it was important to me. The first one was being close to my family and having the opportunity for my parents and grandparents to be able to watch me play was really important. And then also uh, Bob Myers has been my private coach for a long time and having the opportunity to play with him uh, throughout college was something that played a big role in my choice. That's awesome. We, we just talked to uh, Coach Albertson about the fact that he has Bob Myers at his side and what an advantage it is to have somebody – like Bob Myers, and, and I mean, obviously you proved it right there, but this is a guy that has obviously immeasurable tennis knowledge, but also what a history with SIUE. Right, it played such a big role in my decision. I'm not sure if he knew that or not, but um, it's, it's definitely helped me to, you know, keep playing as long as I have. That's awesome. Uh, Melissa Viscardo, you're from the Woodlands, Texas. So, so the opposite question for you, or the opposite situation, I guess, why was SIUE a good reason for you to go so far from home? Well, I definitely wanted a new experience out of state because I'm from Texas. So um, I wanted to come up north and find like a new place to like play. And SIUE provided the same value for academics and athletics. So I really liked that. What made you want to come back um, with, with COVID-19 and the pandemic and the shortened season last year? For folks that don't know, spring sport athletes were given a year back of eligibility. So you've already finished your bachelor's degree. Why do you come back to, to continue? Um, with the opportunity to get my master's and continue playing on a team where I felt like we had so much unfinished business, we had such a good start to the season and not being able to finish that out uh, really you know, made me hungry again to keep going. Melissa, you had a freshman year and, and your, your fellow freshman uh, unlike anybody would have imagined, and certainly unlike you would have imagined, I'm sure. And, and as Cal said, you start nine and two last year before before kind of the breaks are put on. But um, you know, how have you kind of adjusted to? Okay, that season kind of got lost, and here we are now. We don't have a fall season. We're trying to prepare for the spring in a whole new way. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was really upset that we couldn't finish playing because we were number one in our conference so far. So we had really high hopes of. Um, winning possibly so I definitely the same thing as Cal I was hungry to come back and finish it so I'm excited for this year hopefully we get to play and finish that season. 
tell me about how the fall has been because at this point in time, normally you've got some tournaments under your belt. You've got a really good idea of maybe how that season is progressing. Now you and your teammates, you're forced to prepare in a new way for that season in the spring. Um, yeah, we've all been working really hard uh, in the weight room and in practice, and sometimes some of us go out and hit extra. We just love the game, and we just want to keep improving just to continue our spring season and continue to win and improve. Cal, how about you? Same question. Um, how different is that when you don't have those fall tournaments, those, those actual competitive matches to kind of prepare? It's definitely been an adjustment. Um, I think with you know the breaks being put on last season, I think everyone was kind of unsure of what was going to happen, so everyone was extremely excited and hungry to get back out there given the opportunity. So I think that our practices have been a lot more competitive and a lot like very enjoyable because we're all just pretty grateful to be able to practice right now and play. Coach said one of the things he's been doing is he'll actually set it up so it's sort of like a competition day where you'll have singles work one day, you'll have doubles work one day. How's that been? Uh, I think we all, we're really enjoying competing. I think that's, you know, when you don't get to compete for so long, uh, you get to be back out there with your teammates. And although it's your teammates, there's there's a lightheartedness to it, but, like, still competing. We all love to compete, so it's been fun. I imagine same for you, even though it's not a different team on the other side of the net. It's still some, some competition. Yeah, I mean, we all come in as individual athletes from tennis, especially being an individual sport. So we definitely have that competitiveness. But at the same time, we are teammates. So I think we compete at a level that we can compete against teammates, but still at a level where we can still have some competition. Being from out of state, out of this community, how nice is it that you have the kind of community support that this university and this program has? It's awesome. Like I feel so supported. I feel like I could go, especially to Cal, to mm -hmm. ask her about classes since we're both we were both business um, and coach. She's so supportive, and our advisors. It's just such a loving community to be in. And Cal, I think for you, obviously, it's it's a little different. You grew up here. You knew this community, and you knew the kind of support that this community has for its schools. And I'm talking about Edwardsville High School, Metro East Lutheran, SIUE. You've grown up with that. There's definitely a big tennis community here, um, and not a lot of people would know that if you're looking on it, looking at it from the outside. But I think that there's so much support from the community that um, a lot of the girls, I mean, last year we had our fundraiser, and they got to meet some of those supporters. But I think it's a really neat experience for everyone. Well, I appreciate your time from both of you. I know that what you guys have gone through and what all student athletes and all students have gone through is, is unique. Uh, hopefully we do not have to go through it any more or any longer. So I, I wish you guys the best of luck as we get into uh, the tennis season. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. That was Callahan Adams and Melissa Viscardo. Certainly appreciate them taking the time, and we wish them the best of luck as we get into the spring season. I'm going to visit with the SIUE Hall of Famer. Bob Myers himself joins me when we come back on the Cougar Connection. SIUE is rising. Why? There's a feeling here that's hard to describe. It's in the students, in our campus, our town. Potential. It's a place where big opportunities come from small class sizes, with cutting edge labs, studios, and performance spaces. We go out and experience it. Create, break it, try again. We strive to become more. We will shape the world to come. Cougar fans, there's no better place to check out the latest news, stats, and updates about Cougar athletics than at SIUECougars.com. Find out when the next game is, learn more about your favorite Cougar teams, read in-depth features, and get exclusive content. SIUECougars.com is also your one stop for tickets and official SIUE Cougars gear. Get it all without leaving your home. Just visit SIUECougars.com. Joe Pot back with you on the Cougar Connection. We're at the Edwardsville YMCA, and I'm joined now by assistant coach Bob Myers. It hasn't always been that way. This is a second go-around for you with the SIUE tennis program, but you have been with this university in positions from undergrad, graduate. You've taught here. You've been an assistant. You've been the head coach for the men and the women, and now you're back. What brought you back to SIUE the most recent time? Well, the most recent time, probably, I was asked to come back. Um, Jason Coomer was mm -hmm. kind of being transitioned into uh, assistant AD at the time. 
and uh, not knowing that the program was going to disappear that right. particular year. But anyway, uh, uh, Jason confronted me and said, hey, would you, you know, be interested in coming out and uh, helping me out and so on down the line. So, so I did that first year. And you've now had a couple of different women head coaches. Um, Adam here, obviously, for his third season. You guys were rolling last year, quite frankly. Nobody could have expected what we all dealt with starting in March with the pandemic and kind of cutting you short. And now you're dealing with a fall that's a little different where these girls are not preparing via tournaments. They're preparing only on the practice court for this spring season. How impressed have you been with this team and the way they've kind of been flexible and been able to pivot? This is, well, I tell you what, honestly, uh, and I've told these girls this, this is really a good team. Um, having experienced those national championship teams we've had. Yep. And actually, back in the day when I was coaching, we were playing Big Ten, Big Eight, um, you know, large schools. You know, we're beating U of I. We're beating Carbondale. We're beating Mizzou. I mean, Mizzou didn't have a team at the time. But we are, um, you know, 20, I think we were 23 and 4 maybe playing basically, you know, D1. And that particular, those teams that I had then – are very equivalent to these guys. These guys may even be better than the teams I had. So when I when I tell them that this is the making of a really good team and we talk about some of the things you have to do to keep each other going and so on online, because uh, everybody comes out every day and the goal is to make yourself better and the person you're playing with better. You know, so that's the challenge, you know. So you want to be, you know, bring your A game as much as you possibly can every day so you keep developing, you know, developing those skills and the competitive attitude, et cetera. And as, as I mentioned earlier, I, I mentioned to these girls that this is a really good team. You guys can do some damage. And they actually have seen what's, what the um, OVC is like. Yep. You know, I would say these are the, this is the team to beat. The horses are here. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the stable. Bob Myers <laughs> with us here on the Cougar Connection. I'm going to embarrass you just a little bit. We talked to head coach Adam Albertson. He raved about how lucky he was to have you at his side through this. Um, when we talked with Cal Adams, who's now a graduate student, she's been here for four years, and, and obviously you coached her before coming to SIUE. Mm -hmm. She said you were instrumental in coming to SIUE and her staying home. Do you realize, you know, how much you mean to this program? Well, to some degree. You know, and it's good at my age, you know, <laughs> being on the short side of the, the stick to still have some value, you know, and being able to uh, contribute to um, taking 50 years of experience and being able to inject that in some of these kids. And it's payback time for me. Coach, we are happy to have you back. We're happy to have you a part as, the, as part of the SIUE tennis program. Appreciate the time today. Well, thank you much, Joe. My thanks to all of our guests, our coaches, Adam Albertson and Bob Myers, as well as Cal Adams and Melissa Viscardo, and to the entire SIUE tennis program for letting us come out and take some time today. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Cougar Connection from right here at the Edwardsville Y. I'm Joe Pott. Hope you'll join us again on the next edition of the Cougar Connection.